So, um, me and Nick are going out to uh, film some more of the Crown Vic. So, um, let's see how this goes. So, um, today me and Nick are going to do spark plugs on the Crown Vic. Right. So, you can see that little bolt right there. You take that out, pull your coil up, unplug your coil and then it'll be a 5 8 spark plug socket it helps if you have a really big extension like that one you could do it a little one so let's uh start tiny little seven mil oh yeah you're also going to need a seven mil uh, quarter inch deep's a little bit easier to get to You just pull your coil out like that. Hear a little nice sound and this connector. Oh, that looks really gross. A little uh, bit of uh, mouse nest in there. Yeah. Spark plug is good though. On the on these coils, you see this little tab. You just push in, pull them right out. Really easy. easy. Really easy. Uh, is that a dead bee, Alex? Looks like a dead something on there. It looks like a dead bee. Does, does that add a few horsepower or what? Yeah. And there's our first plug. Yeah, the, these are original auto. No, these are not original autocrafts. They're motocrafts. Yeah. So, um, looks like a bit, uh, yeah, the, these these have been redone. See how there's boot grease on there? Use that boot grease to be uh, black that year. These were done the last year, so still gonna do them again. But yep. So uh, here's our new plug. Auto lights cheapest ones they got copper spark plug socket you know you just gotta shove it in there yep got right back down there in there I don't know if this is gonna work if you get from the back ones it's not gonna work <laughs> but it's nice for the front ones yeah so Alex what's the What's the torque on these spark plugs? Uh, snug. Snug? Yep. It's not snug. Uh, the thing that sucks about spark plug sockets is they don't like to come out. I usually end up taking the rubber piece out. Making any progress yet? Absolutely not. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's on there. You want to go grab some meal nose pliers? Pliers? Probably these guys first. Probably snake them right down in there. on the battery and make sure you zap yourself later. So here's our plug. If you would kindly hold that for me. So what are you, what are you gonna do? Alex make it not a spark plug socket anymore? Yep. Highly recommended by all mechanics. <laughs> What's up buddy? How you doing? Hey. You're good at, you know, getting spark plugs uh, things out. Have fun. All right, guys, let's clean off this dirt and stuff. It's, uh, that. Doesn't really make a difference. 
It helps, but it helps. Oh, Dave did it! Hey, so, Dave! It is now not a spark plug socket anymore. So our life is going to be a lot easier. That's a spark plug socket. It's going to be a lot harder. Sits out with a spark plug like that. And yeah, so there you go. Dave, where does this go? That's where it goes. Now this is called 4-6 magic. You just drop it down in there. It's probably black magic, but you know, that'd be racist. You know what's a really good uh, tray for your tools, your battery? It's really good. I, we highly recommend it. Yeah, um, sometimes you get zapped, but we got this little rubber thing. Like, watch. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Snug. Yank it right out of there. Nice and easy. Happy birthday, Nick. You get the other ones. Okay. Put that coil back on first. Sure. Ooh, Lego. Legos. So we have a friend named Andrew who eats these things. He eats them? Yeah, Andrew eats Legos. Doesn't Andrew eat Legos, Dave? I guess. On occasion. On occasion? So, Angel will just take a big honking bite of these things. Yeah, so uh, right now, Nick is taking off the fuel pressure uh, regulator. regulator. It's regulated by vacuum through this. Sends a signal to that, and then that sends a signal to that, and that is filled with fuel, like it should be. Yep, good fuel. See how it's clear? So it should be. In the meantime, I'm going to take off the intake for the other sides, so you'll see it's pretty self-explanatory. So. Loosen that one little bolt up there. Pop two little clips there. Sometimes you gotta rock it back and forth, but comes right out. And there's a little clip under here. And sometimes this clip doesn't really like to wiggle out. You gotta take a little flathead. Try on a little bit sometimes. Try not to break it. He, he did not break it. And this little PCB hose. Sometimes these are I pretty bad to get off. There's two of them here. I think you just pull that little clip back, right? Yep, yeah, you push it on. Pull it back to the side. And it should rock off like it is now. And that's your intake quick so yep that's all there is to it the wind in this clip is very bad but Alex takes the socket out of my hand and says that the socket is a spark plug socket has a magnet in it so it's very easy to get the spark plugs out once you get them loose
It's a new day. He had to go to work yesterday, so uh, today we're doing the other side of the spark plugs. So um, we're moving the right side of the block. So um, we're gonna remove the uh, throttle body, I guess you you call it. So there's two little clips you pull off on that little red piece. Slides right off. Same on that. Pull on that. Right off. And then there's four bolts. Oh, let me get that come off. I'm gonna go grab an extension. Got one, two, three in there, and four right there. This whole thing is clumsy right out. Yeah, so um, we're taking this off to get the smart plugs, to get to the uh, coils out and everything easier. Just because it's kind of a pain to fish a uh, socket through and it's only four bolts and two connectors, so why not? And then, that's that. That's your throttle body right there. You got your throttle position sensor right there. Now, this should be able to swing up, open and close real easy. That's wide open right there. Now, if it, this is, this, these usually smell like fuel, and it's usually gonna be dirty on the back side. We'll clean this up real good, just to make it flow a little better. But, um, so if you take a look in there, it's gonna be a lot of carbon buildup, just because of the fact nobody cleaned it out, so. It's gonna look like that, but you can clean it, or you can just leave it how it is. Sea foaming it will help a lot. You do a good thing of sea foam through there, it'll uh, clean it out pretty good. So let's uh, start doing the plugs. Okay. So I just kind of like to uh, pop the little retainer out for the coil and injector harness if it wants to pop out that would be great cool and then you push on pop off I usually just tuck that under there to get it out of the way same deal on this side guys one one bolt a coil on top spark plug on the bottom same thing one two and three the uh, throttle body and butterfly so this is a uh, throttle body air intake cleaner so so those two little tabs right there and there 
Okay. Slides right in. Lines your bolt holes up. It only goes on one way. Fire up for the first time? Sure. Ooh, start her up. It's gonna smoke a little bit from all that throttle body in there. It's air that's good for it. Cleans the carbon off the valves. You know now, the real question is that it leak its oil out. Does it have oil under it? It does not. Does it have oil in it? It does. There we go. Cool. What we forgot to do is press the little guy right there and now start it back up. We'll get back to you with this uh, new noises. Hey guys, we're investigating that noise right now. Um, Alex had to go home for the weekend, but it's just me. And before he left, we took off the valve covers on the Crown Vic, and we spun it over, and we figured out that it had no no oil going to the top of the motor. So all that noise is from the top of the motor. So we're we're investigating it, and we'll have it fixed soon. Uh, subscribe, comment, comment what you think it is, all that stuff. Uh, we'll, we're going to keep filming and making videos no matter what. So, see you guys.